Hi there, band. Thanks for tuning in. Today's lesson is going to be on page four of the Red Book. A lot of cool things that we get to play on page four. For, uh, for most of us, we have extended notes that we're reviewing, going both higher and lower than on the previous page. We're also doing some really cool rhythms with offbeat eighth notes. For percussion, you'll notice that we have some really neat stickings. We have paradiddles, double paradiddles, and triple paradiddles, which are a lot of fun. We also review a fermata, which is usually at the end of the music. It tells us to hold the note for longer. We see accents on this page. And we also see a roadmap called DC Alfine, which means once you get to the end of the piece, go back to the beginning and then stop where it says Fine. So some cool stuff. I'm going to demonstrate each one of these pieces on each uh, instrument that I have here. Flute, clarinet, saxophone, trumpet, trombone, and snare drum. You're welcome. I would encourage you to play along with each, uh, each instrument that I play, even if it's different from yours. So you get to hear how it sounds when those two instruments play together. The first piece on this page, number 11, chromosome is super important. Within that piece, we see sharps and flats within the music. This changes the notes, so you need to make sure when you see a sharp or a flat in front of a note that you are changing your fingering so it sounds correct. Okay. This one piece will teach you so many different fingerings, so it's really important to learn. It's also in 3-4, which means three beats per measure. And here it is for flute. when I got to the end of the piece, I went back to the beginning because I saw DC Alfine. So I went back to the beginning and then I stopped where I saw Fine above the music. Okay? So some notes you may want to pay attention to flutes are C sharp and D flat. Look mom, only the pinky. Also F sharp, thumb, one, two, three, four, excuse me, one, two, three, three, and pinky. And that's the same as G flat. And then A flat, which is thumb, one, two, three, pinky. And if you know all those, you'll be sitting pretty good. Okay? Here it is on clarinet. Two, 
side key. That's also the same thing as E flat. You also want to look for G sharp, which is the same thing as A flat. Okay, and that's this side key right here. Okay. Also looking for B flat, which is the A key right here with the register key. That's the high B flat. And then clarinets, we have a B natural, all fingers down, and this pinky right here with the register key. So all fingers down, this pinky with the register key. You wanna make sure all those holes are covered to make sure it comes out correctly. And then high C, which is this pinky right here, okay? All right, moving on to alto saxophone. This is chromosome. Excuse me, wrong note there. for D sharp, which is the same thing as E flat, and that's one, two, three, one, two, three, pinky. Also, F natural, okay? One, two, three, one. And then it changes to F sharp. You can either do this F sharp, which is only two here, one, two, three, two, or you can do an alternate fingering, one, two, three, one, and then this fun key right here, okay? And if you know all those, you'll be sitting really well. Next, a trumpet on chromosome. <laughs> G sharp, 
which is the same thing as A flat. Same fingering. Rock on. Also B flat, first finger. And then you'll also see a B natural, so it changes to B natural, which is middle. Okay? Trombone is probably the most fun because you'll just be going up one step at a time on the slide positions, starting in sixth. <laughs> So for example, right, left, right, left, right, right. Or left, right, left, right, left, left. That's a double paradiddle. Para, para, diddle. Para, para, diddle. Okay, here is number 11 for the snare drum. Actually, let's turn the snare on for you. Actually, um, I'm going to restart that uh, so because I messed up on a rhythm. I make mistakes too. Here we go. mistakes we just try and make them better okay now moving on to number 12 Billy boy this one you want to check the key signature flutes and trombones you'll notice you have one flat that means that your E's are going to be E natural so second position for trombones E natural for flute okay so that means you're gonna raise that ring finger up for your E for clarinets and trumpets, you'll notice you have an F sharp, 
So F sharp is first finger only. And for trumpets and uh, bra low brass, uh, low brass, it's your A, but it's going to be middle finger for your A. Trumpets, B natural for you, but you also have an F sharp. Okay, F sharp is also going to be middle. Okay, uh, moving on. Alto saxophones, you'll notice you have a C sharp, F sharp and C sharp. So C sharp is nice and easy, no fingers. All right, here is Billy Boy. One, two, one. see that key signature note until the very end. Okay, good. I will play it on snare as well. did uh, mess up a little bit on the stickings, so pay careful attention to that. A lot of uh, paradiddles, paradiddle, paradiddle, okay? That's a great thing to practice. We're going to move on to number 13. Here's number 13. This is, we're back to probably what we'd call our normal key signature. So check out those flats and, and sharps at the beginning, okay? All right, here's technique tracks, starting on beat four. One, two, three. out there's some sharps in there or naturals which change the note make sure you know what the note changes to okay here it is on snare drum one two three rest Should go da 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 boom boom boom. Okay. Cool. Moving on. We are now on number fourteen. And fourteen is fun because you can play it as a duet. So feel free. I'll play both parts. Feel free to um, to go ahead and play along with the other part that I'm. Playing. So if I'm doing B, you're welcome to try A. If I'm doing A, you're welcome to try B and see how it sounds as a duet. Okay, here's Salsa Siesta, number 14. Check the key signature. Okay, here we go. <laughs>
was part A. Here's part B. tuning in band. I hope you're having fun playing this page. There's a lot of fun stuff to play on it. All right, happy practicing, make some great music, and we'll see you later.